All right, what's up, guys? This is Nick from Untold Gaming, and uh, this is part 20 for God of War 3 story mode walkthrough. Um, right here where we left off, Hephaestus dies. You uh, you kill him. You stab that right into his chest. Um, so he dies right here at the forge, and you're gonna just fight off some enemies. Now you get the Nemesis Whip. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about this weapon. It's the weakest weapon in the game, um, but it's great for combos. Can take out enemies quickly. It doesn't mean that it sucks because it's the weakest. It's just uh, it doesn't have that much power, but it still it still packs a punch if you know how to use it. So if you can get those combos, that'll really help you out. So right now you want to climb and get back to uh, Aphrodite's chamber. By the way, get H Hephaestus's ring over there on the left when you. Uh, after you kill him. And now you just want to open this door. And uh, it'll tell you Nemesis Rage. You can use that. So here you'll have infinite uh, magic. So just go ahead and use that. It's pretty, uh, pretty sick. See, you can build up a combo pretty quick. I already got 100 right there. I think I managed to get 200. Just thought this part, yeah, all four enemies, I just cut 200. So yeah, that'll be pretty easy. But again, for the Hitman trophy, you're gonna want to um, use the Claws of Hades. So go watch that video. And uh, since you couldn't turn this before, you could just hit it with the Nemesis Whip, and it'll just turn. You need electricity, like the one across right now. Uh, you got the Nemesis Whip, all that all the past, past previous parts now you come back here and you strike this now you can turn it and uh... just go on And then you'll be right here in this kind of like a trap room. But uh, there's a lot of chests here, so um, and a couple red chests. There's about I think five or six. Uh, I think five, yeah. So I hope you get everything here. Just follow the guide. Um, just kind of wanna at first shoot this door and uh, to. Oh, oh, sorry about that, but uh, I'm really tired. But to shoot that, you're going to want to just hold R1 and just pull back. So first thing you want to do is shoot it through these portals on the left and climb the rope. Just get, get on it and then go through the portal. Then you'll grab it and you'll end up up there. So you want to just crawl across. So yeah, there's your Gorgon eye right there. I think I believe that's the last one you'll get in the game. Yep. And the last Phoenix feather you get in the game is here too. And not far ahead is the Minotaur horn. I think it's actually in this room as well. So everything you should finish with all those all three of those achieve are trophies. Um when you get to this room if you've gotten every collectible so far. Because I know where everything is and I've shown you if you follow the guide, but uh, if you don't, uh, don't worry because there is. You only need 18 collectibles to get um. The. Or each one, 18 I think yeah to get the the trophies. So there's about 30 for each, so don't worry, or 25 something like that. So set it up. Uh, and shoot it straight forward, but make sure it's up on the second level and Pull the switch up there like you saw And I'll drop these two. These are probably the most important ones But I just uh, then again break the urns you see and right here is a godly possession 
uh, Daedalus is schematics. Uh, so that's one of the last ones, I believe. And then you'll get your final Phoenix Feather right here. Should get that trophy out of the way. So, just hit these urns. So you wanna just pull the switch and then have it on the first floor. Turn it to the side and just shoot. But I failed there, so. There you go, this one's probably the most complex one. And it's actually kinda tough, go through that portal. See a red chest right there. Break those, and then this is kind of tricky. Gotta grab that and just go across. Just uh, get that red chest and open that, and there's your Minotaur horn. You need, so you need two more actually to finish that up. So it's always in the in that order, Gorgonizer first, and then Phoenix Feather. Uh, it depends on in this room what order you do them in. So you'll finish that if you've gotten every collectible. But um, just raise it to the second floor again, and we'll get this last part over with in this room. So shoot it through there, and it'll come up on the second floor right above. Um. Now you have to just go through this portal and grab it again. It's kind of tricky too. So just go across. And you'll arrive at uh, four red chests. So I've been like saving up my XP. I, I don't know if I maxed out everything I forgot on this current playthrough. But, um, just go down there. And slide. And don't forget behind you there's collectible and a red chest. So that's another Minotaur horn right there. So you should have two in that room now. You need one more. Which you'll get shortly. So don't worry about that. But uh, since I already have the trophies, uh, they aren't popping up. So here I max out the Cestas, and I save the rest of my XP till I get enough to max out everything. But uh, coming up now is Hera, and this is also the you'll get a pretty long cutscene right there, and then you'll get her the final godly possession in the game, which is right here. Um, and it's her cup. So after the cutscene, actually, I think, yeah, you have to go this way. So go to the left a little and you'll get it. And that's it, guys, for part 20. Uh, make sure to subscribe and watch part 21.